Well, good morning, good morning. It's a beautiful autumn day in Seoul. So today we're going out for a little outing. Yeah, we're going hiking. We're yes. going to climb Namsan Mountain to Seoul Tower. Mm. And we took the metro today. We went to Hyeon Station, which is also yeah. Namdaemun Market Station. Yes. And from there, we're going to walk all the way up. We're going to hike up. So we're really excited. Let's get started. So to reach Seoul Tower, you basically have two options. You can take the cable car, which is the lazy route, or you can hike up Namsan Park, and that's exactly what we're doing. That's how it's done. That's yeah. how it's done. That's yeah. how you earn those views of Seoul. So this is such a rookie travel mistake that we make time and time again. But we were hiking and we have no water. Neither of us brought water. Already out of breath. Oh! Do -do 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 -do. Do -do -do. This is a lifesaver because we didn't pack any water. <sighs> so happy to have found this. So happy. So, so harpy. harpy. So happy. I'm so harpy. I feel so harpy drinking water. I think that fountain is like for refilling water bottles so I may have washed off like half my makeup while trying to drink out of that. <sighs> Okay, so there are two very distinct looks when it comes to hiking Namsan. Tell us about them. Yeah, so something that cracks me up about hiking in Korea is you have the super hardcore hikers and uh -huh. they're decked out in the most like hardcore hiking gear. They've got their fluorescent visors, they've got their hiking sticks, they've got their hiking pants, their special shirts. It's all like kind of neon colors. It's they're like they're going to Everest yeah. Base Camp basically. Yeah, exactly. And then you have other people who are like woefully underdressed. They're like hiking up in mini skirts and like high heels. So this is our first official lookout point and the views are stunning. The sun is just hitting in the right direction. It's awesome. So in terms of hiking up Namsan Park, there are two times of the year that are highly recommended. Mm -hmm. So the first being in fall, around the late October, early November time, which is when we're doing it right now. Second time that would be really recommended would be late April, early May, in the thick of spring. So, I mean, it's just lovely temperatures, you get gorgeous scenery, and it's just very pleasant, very fun. Time to quench that thirst. Oh yeah. Quench that Pukari thirst. sweat, it's kind of like, Great Gatorade here in Korea. I think it's actually. I know. I think it's a Japanese. Beer. I used to think the name was so funny when I first came across it. Yeah. Sweat. We're going to drink some sweat. Woohoo! Bokari! So we finally made it up to the top of Namsan, and let me tell you guys, we are some kind of hungry. We're starving. Some kind of hungry, some not just kind any hungry. kind. Some not kind. any kind of hungry. Sorry. So very hungry. So we're gonna have food first, yeah. and then go up and Seoul Tower. Yeah. So we got two of our favorites. We're getting bibimbap and jajangmyeon. So we're just waiting for that time to arrive. So the first of two dishes have arrived. Yeah. This so is jajangmyeon. Yeah, and this is like Chinese Korean food, and it's noodles with a black bean sauce. Yeah. Check it out. Some onions, caramelized onions. This is gonna be good. Ma bibimbap is here. And this is one of my favorite Korean dishes. I absolutely love this. It's basically mixed vegetables with rice and red pepper paste. And what's cool about this one is sometimes it comes pre-made for you, but this one you get to do it yourself. Do it so, yourself. You get see, to work. See all the veggies in there? We'll plop in the rice. And I'm gonna pour all of the gochujang sauce, which is the red pepper paste, just like that. And now it's gonna be a mixing marathon. Alright. Okay. 
So now that we've had our lunch, we're going up Ensoul Tower. Got our tickets, it was 10,000 won per person. Made it to the top. Made it to the top. Now time to enjoy the views that we yeah. have. But you know what? It has gotten a little bit hazy since earlier this morning. So it might be a little gray, but we still get to see the whole city. Yeah, and that's basically a wrap for our day. That was a yeah. nice long afternoon. That was a lot of fun. And the thing that was really cool for me was getting to see the Korean folk farmers dance and the Korean traditional martial arts performance. That was a big time bonus. Also, I ended up getting some Korean postcards while we were there. So I was thinking maybe in the comments section you guys can let us know what kind of Korea videos you'd like to see in the future. And I'll choose in comments because I have eight postcards and I'll mail those out to you. But also make sure that your account isn't set to private because sometimes people leave comments and they ask questions and I can't actually reply. So check that. <laughs> 